I'm back at the shop where the van is. You can see it right here. Um, I actually just picked up a couple jugs of plumbing antifreeze. And I'm going to winterize the van as, <laughs> to the best of my abilities. I've never winterized uh, an RV before. So don't take this as a how-to video, more of an entertainment video. Um, so yeah, let's uh, check it out. I got three jugs of plumbing antifreeze. Make sure you get plumbing antifreeze, not car antifreeze. And um, my holding tanks are pretty much empty, but I do know there is some uh, liquid in them. So because my van's not mobile right now, I can't uh, empty the, um, the tank. So I'm just going to put a jug of antifreeze in the black water tank and a jug of antifreeze in the gray water tank. And then I have a third jug of plumbing antifreeze, which I will use to uh, flood the, the lines in the van itself. So that is my goal. Oh, and I also need to empty the hot water tank. And that I will attempt to do right now. All right, here's the access panel to the hot water tank. I believe that there is the drain plug and that's just the uh, that'll let some air into the tank while I empty it. So I'm going to attempt to remove that plug. Hopefully some water comes out and that will drain the hot water tank. So that's the hot water tank being emptied. Alright guys, so I'm in the back of my van and I have my bed all torn apart here. So I have access to the uh, hot water tank. Now there's two lines going into my hot water tank, the hot water and the cold water. So the cold water uh, brings the water to the hot water tank, it heats it up and then it comes out the hot water line and into the, the pipe. So what I have to do is between the cold water line and the hot water line, there is a tube that connects them and there's a valve on each line that uh, directs the water either into the tank or into that connecting tube. So I have to switch the, the uh, valve to prevent the water from going into, or the antifreeze I should say, from going into the hot water tank. So I'm going to turn the valve on both lines which will allow the antifreeze in, instead of going into the hot water tank it actually connects the hot water line and the cold water line so that they be both become one system. And when I put the antifreeze into the line, it will then connect as a whole loop and it will avoid going into the hot water tank because that would be a lot of antifreeze that you need to fill that thing up. So you want to avoid that. So there's the hot water tank there. I'm not sure. This is probably the hot water. The cold water is down at the bottom there. And this here is the valve I'm talking about. Now it's already shut off so it's directing the water into that connecting line there which goes down and into that cold water. So when I start pumping antifreeze it will probably come in that cold line there and then instead of going into the tank because I've turned the valve it will now go up this connecting line and because this valve shut off instead of going into the tank it will go directly into the hot water line and then run off into the remaining lines in the van. 
All right, guys, so, so far what I've done is I first I emptied the hot water tank, then I've um, turned the valves at the back of the water tank so it connects all the plumbing together instead of going into the hot water tank. Uh, I have drained my clear water, my clean water tank. Uh, because my vehicle is not mobile, I cannot dump my gray water or my black water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a jug of uh, anti uh, plumbing antifreeze into the black water tank and also one into the gray water tank. Um, they're both pretty much empty right now, but they do have a little bit of liquid in it, so I'm going to do that. And then the last thing I need to do is pump the antifreeze through the lines, and we'll be using my, uh, hot, my uh, water pump to do that. And I'll show you that uh, after we... Put some antifreeze into the tanks. We're gonna put, what is this? Three, almost four liters of uh, plumbing antifreeze. And this will be going into the black water tank. So all you really need to do is put it in the toilet. And we're just going to flush it and put the rest in. That's stage one. Alright guys, stage two, I'm going to put the uh, plumbing antifreeze into the gray water holding tank and all I'm going to do to do that is pour it down the sink. All right guys, the next step we're gonna do is uh, run the antifreeze through the systems. So all the uh, pipes inside the van, uh, we need to run the antifreeze through and that, that way it gets all the water out and uh, just leaves the antifreeze in the line so that they don't split and crack uh, once it freezes. So I bought this hose here and uh, it will be going into the last jug of antifreeze. And the other end of the hose will be connecting to the water pump. So this line here is uh, the fresh water into the pump. And then it goes at the back and into the rest of the van. So I'm going to disconnect this here. Connect my new hose that is attached to the gallon or the uh, jug of antifreeze. And then we're going to turn the pump on and it's going to suck the antifreeze up and it will uh, into the uh, the rest of the van. Alright guys, I got the new uh, tubing attached to the pump and as you can see it runs into the jug of plumbing antifreeze. <coughs> so now that's set up. Basically all I have to do now <laughs> is turn turn the pump on. And you can see that it is sucking all the uh, antifreeze out there. And you can hear some action going on back here. Hopefully that's not filling the tank. I don't know if that is or not. So 
So unfortunately, that noise you were hearing, that was antifreeze seeping into the hot water tank. And no matter what position I put those valves at, I could not prevent it from going into the hot water tank. Now I had to take like four trips to the uh, hardware store to get parts and I went through I think seven jugs of antifreeze trying to get this thing to work. Eventually I just disconnected both the hot and water or the hot and cold lines from the hot water tank, bought a connector and just directly connected the cold line to the hot, hot water line and that finally resolved my issue. And now I guess we can proceed to the rest of the winterization of the van. All right, so now with the pump still on, we're gonna turn the pump back on. We're just gonna flush or rinse the toilet until we see a uh, pink antifreeze come out. And there's the purple color we're looking for. Okay, so now we know that all the plumbing that goes to the toilet, instead of filled with water, it is now filled with the antifreeze, which is what we want. Because of all the uh, headaches I had, I forgot to film me uh, draining the faucet. So just like I did with the toilet, uh, you keep the pump on while it's while you're drawing antifreeze out of the container. Turn the cold water on, wait till it runs, until it turns into a pink liquid. Turn it off and then turn the hot water on. Let it run, let it drain all the water out of the pipe until you see the pink uh, fluid coming out. You also want to release the water pressure out of the uh, thing for the city water. And there's just a little button in there. And just let that run out. Alright guys, I'm on my way home. That was a few too many hours longer than I had ever anticipated that taking. And that's just because of the issue I had with the water, uh, or the antifreeze going into the hot water tank. Eventually got that figured out, kinda. At least I made a workaround. And my vehicle is now winterized, so it can freeze all at once. It's gonna be safe. And hope you guys, I don't know if I want to say learned something, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, guys.